Okay, so now I'm going to try to beat this dead horse, the stick, and make sure it never rises from the dead again about this Mary Berkeley that was buried at Twickenham. And I noticed that the date that um, this was proved was actually on the seventh day of September, it says, in the year 1760. Eight. The, bur the burial record here has it as October 6, 1768. I think that the day of the month is very coincidental, but whether she actually died September or October, I don't know. Now, there may be another Mary Berkeley that died exactly one month apart from the burial of this Mary Mary Berkeley at Twickingham. If you find it, I'll be proven to be wrong. Until such time, this is the best information we have, and that's the contents of this will. And in this will, she gives to um, William Chapman, who is actually, uh, as I think it's, no, he gives to William Chapman, not as trustee, but just as William Chapman, um, some of her items, but she also gives to um, her brother Charles, it says, the last name that I can't read, I mean, the, the writing is horrible and the facsimile quality is horrible. I'll just say that about, this is one of the better ones, and this comes out of, um, there's also an Ann Mills that is a beneficiary, but there's not a, my husband, Charles. Second of all, if all the property does, in fact, accrue to the husband, or, you know, only a, uh, the only time the uh, wives were making wills back in those days was when their husbands predeceased them and she was at the time unmarried. Otherwise, all the property simply accrued to the husband. That is another point. So here we are. So it's approved at London. Now it says that she was from, um, if I'm reading this right, Hadley in, Middles in Middlesex County. And um, she mentions buying him a ring. That's Chapman. And then there's a there is an Ann M Mills. Uh, it's a spinster, a single woman. And then she's got a brother, Charles. Now, I don't know if this Mary Berkeley was a single woman that lived that way, or it didn't seem like she would have. Um, she doesn't really say. administration was granted to. Administration was granted of all in singular the goods and chattels and credits to Ann Mills. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> First of all, if Dr. Charles Moore now lived her, she wouldn't need a will. Second of all, if she did have a will, as most Americans would presume, but I'm, you know, I am an American, but I know enough about British genealogy to know what the constitutional uh, rules were back at that time. Basically, when you got married, all the property accrued to the husband, you know, unfortunately. Um, even so, wouldn't she leave all of her stuff to her husband? Her husband lived till 1799. This this is a good you know, 32 years before he died. If this indeed was the right man, no, it's not the right man. Um, second of all, so, okay, so now let's find out who exactly this person was, rather than just simply saying that. You know, her name is Berkeley, but she apparently 
has a brother, perhaps it's named Charles. And here we look at the Mary Berk. There is a Mary Berkeley that was, um, but that's she was born Mary Berkeley. But it, again, it's not clear. And I don't see a uh, sister named Anne that could have married a Mills. I do see a Charles, but it doesn't look like the last name listed there is in, in, in this un, in, absolutely crap handwriting. Is um. That's Thomas Buttershaw. Is resembling anything close to Berkeley? Looks like something else. I'm wondering. Brother Charles. Bleh. <laughs> so, I don't even see how. I mean, it must, this must be a woman that married was a was a wife of a Berkeley that lived in Hadley. Um, do I know exactly where the Berkeleys lived at all times? No, I don't. Um, I thought at one point they were kind of close to Bath and Devon County, but I'm not sure where I even got that impression from. It's been such a long time. I don't see a Mary that's a wife of a Charles. Um, James Berkeley married a Louisa Lennox. Uh, George Berkeley married Henrietta Howard, who was the Countess of Suffolk, and I'll go over her will in just a bit. And of course, Henry, Henry, uh, the, 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 the father of Mary Berkeley, who married Charles Morton, did have a mother named Mary Cornwall, but she is said to have been dead on 25th April 1741. Um, now, if she lived this long, as I still don't know, anything about her brothers or sisters I don't have enough information myself that I've gathered whether um, Mary Cornwall had a wife a sister sorry named Anne that married a Mills and another brother named Charles but I still doesn't that doesn't look like the last name Cornwall so whatever that last name is is probably this woman was probably born Mary whatever that is looks like starts with a T Tuvo or I don't think they had TiVos back then, so I, you know, I don't know. But nonetheless, it sure ain't Dr. Charles Morton's wife. I think I've proven that. Okay, so now when trying to find out who Dr. Charles, I mean, I'll just stop and then I'll go to the next part.